to show you what I call a full size or properly sized TV table. Folds up, you can put it away. Straightforward to set it up. Very solid. It won't tip over like so many of the smaller TV tables or TV trays on today's market. Very straightforward construction, straight slats round over the ends, round the edges of the router table. A few sharp pieces of dowel rod and one for a handle. This is representative of the TV tables that are available on the market today. They've got this finger eating sliding mechanism. You can look at the construction on this piece. Pieces put on crooked, bowed wood, even this metal bar is misaligned. Made in Thailand. Get it to open up. This another piece out there. And it takes nothing to knock one of these over. And for a size comparison, much larger, more stable. play cards on here, it'll support a lot of weight. The only way you're going to knock this over is if you intend to knock it over. The spread the feet on the floor is much greater. The width is much greater. These are not stable. Pick up these two outside leaves. You've got these indexing pins gauge those two halves from moving back and forth. These two pieces are attached to this half of the tabletop. And these two are attached to this one. The rigidity is provided by this wood doll which is glued into these two pieces here. And the slat that is screwed to these two inside pieces and then this one is screwed into these two outside pieces. Flip this over. And we can see that this comes off and it's pinned into here. This is free floating on this doll. This one has a pin coming into this piece, and then we have the mirror image of that on the other side. There will not be any plans on this. I will have photographs dimensioned at the end of this video. So it's a fairly simple construction. These dowels go into that piece. This one goes into there. And at this stage, you just want to make sure that everything is moving freely. So this dowel rod serves as a spreader bar. And I glued and put a pin in the end here to hold this dowel in place. And while it is a spreader bar to some extent, it's mainly the carrying handle. Instead of a solid piece of wood, I would suggest using Baltic birch plywood. Cover it with formica, and I wrap the edges with oak. And all of this has been given a couple of coats of linseed oil. These pieces are identical. This one pivots on this long wood doll. This one has a sharp pin glued into it. This piece and this piece are identical. This one has two holes drilled in it. This one has a sharp wood doll pin and is attached to the wood doll at the top. You need to make four pieces like this and four pieces like this. The main thing when you put these pieces together, make sure that when this goes on this pin, there's a little bit of a recess here. When this one goes on this pin, there's just a little bit of a recess here so that all these parts will move and pivot freely 
there won't be any drag. And when you put this together, make sure that when this closes, that these are snug and not spaced out like this. I would suggest that you do a trial assembly, number all the places that are going to be joined, number your pins, number where your slats are, put it all together, make it work, and then take it apart and then put the linseed oil on there.